Hey guys, it's Patriots Man here, and I am back with another video. Happy Saturday, everyone. Today, we're going to talk about how to get more college throwbacks masters in Mad Mobile 22. So I've already done a video on the college throwbacks promo, and that one was mainly a daily grind guide. This one will be fairly similar, but I'm also going to go into a couple of points so that you make sure that every day you're getting the most you can so you can either get a master up to maybe like three star or get a few masters that are all one star because they do boost each other, which is pretty good. And they also boost themselves. So you're going to end up getting a lot of boost on your players if you get a few of these masters. So we're going to go through that today. Hopefully it helps you guys out. So let's get right into it. So first thing we mentioned this, uh, every day you have to claim your tickets. So you're going to have tickets to claim in the morning and tickets to claim at night. So at 10.30 a.m. Eastern and 7.30 p.m. Eastern, you're going to claim five tickets. Uh, you can do it right here from this right here, this ticket claim. Or, of course, go to the store, find the college throwbacks tab. And here you are, your bonus tickets. So you're going to be able to get it at 10.30, 7.30, 10 free tickets every day. Make sure at every single refresh you're claiming your tickets because tickets are the most important thing to getting masters. You can't play with stamina. You can only play the events with tickets. So you have to make sure you claim your tickets every day whenever they're there and when you can so that you can get the most collectibles out of these events. Now next point of emphasis, um, whenever these tickets do reset, so do the events. So at 10.30 a.m. Eastern, every single event here is going to reset. The Nebraska, Michigan, Florida LSU, and these other three here at the front. Each one is going to give you two on first win, two of the epic collectibles on first win. So that's 10 free epic collectibles every refresh. And there's two refreshes every day. So you want to make sure you don't miss a refresh on an event because you're going to miss out on a first win reward. And in this promo, after the first win, you are not guaranteed epic collectibles on the next win. You're guaranteed a rare collectible with a chance at epics, uh, epic collectibles and epic players. But you are definitely not guaranteed more epic collectibles. So in order to go over to the trades and get more, you know, get more masters, you're going to want to use do all your first wins with your free tickets. Now, of course, every day you're gonna get a daily task over here. So we head to our task, achievements, and our stuff right here. So claiming bonus ticket packs. Let's just go over these, the easiest way to get these done. And then we'll go into the trades and sort of talk about the masters, what you could expect. So here you're gonna get tickets from basically claiming bonus ticket packs. So once you claim the 1030 and the 730 in a single day, you're going to get right here, you're going to get an extra ticket for doing that. So essentially, going through all your achievements, that's two here because there's two tiers. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Eight free tickets from daily task every day. Um, next ones are playing college events. These are simple. As you're playing the event, you're going to get a free ticket. Autoing the event counts, so you're playing the event. A hundred uh, rushing and 150 passing in any game. Uh, one way I did this... You could do it by just playing arena that you know you're grinding arena whatever you're doing you're going to get these yards but another way for free is the journey genesis so we went over this when the justin tucker came out and all that but journey genesis the first stage so stage zero and this fourth event here at the end play this cost no stamina and boom you should be able to easily do those in a couple of games uh one game focused on rushing yards another game focused on passing and yeah, that should be pretty simple for you. Um, next up, we got daily goals. So complete five daily goals. Complete all daily goals. Just do your daily goals. They're fairly simple. Things you can do in the game. Those are two free tickets. And then finally, spend 600 stamina. So you should be able to have at least 600 stamina every day. Um, especially if you're doing the refresh stamina daily goal. You're definitely going to have 600 stamina to spend. So make sure you do that. Another free ticket. So let's head into the trade and really talk about these masters, right? So I did get actually a 10k Metacast bundle because you've seen in past videos, I've been saving this forever, like this cash from field passes from last season. It carried over. So I'm like, you know what? I really want to rank up this Reggie Bush. So obviously that bundle really helped. But that sort of gives you an idea of what you see here after the rank three. So the one star masters are going to take 10 of their specific collectibles and then 40 random epics. And then of course, that's for the same for the two stars. So once I do this, it'll give me the two star Sean Taylor, the three star Sean Taylor, all those same requirements. Now you see, once I get done that three times, I now get to the four star one, which requires 
30 of the specific ones and 120 random. So basically it's the same math. Um, that's three shards. You see times three Reggie Bush, so that's gonna be three shards to get you to rank four. So doing the math, one shard of a master every time comes down to 50 collectibles. So essentially, every single day, if you do some, you know, some simple math from the events here, you're gonna be getting 20 on first win by doing these on both refreshes. You're also gonna get two on first win from this one on the end every single day. So that's 22 collectibles on the first wins. Then of course, when you spend your extra, you know, when you spend all your tickets, you're gonna get roughly enough to get 18 rare collectibles or so. You trade this in, that's at least around two more epic collectibles from here. So 24. And finally, another thing you wanna do is make sure every day, same thing on the college throwbacks, make sure you claim this pack right here. So this is 30K coins every day or 200 mountain cash, and you can get three of these packs every day. So you really want to do this right here if you can. I know it's a lot of coins, I know you could use those coins to level up your players, but this is a very worthy investment if you want some masters because this is up to 9 free epic collectibles every day. So all that math checks out to about 33 to 35 epic collectibles for free every day, and that's without extra spend. So you know, I'm just doing rough estimates. This promo is about, what, 9, 10 days long. You'll get about 270, 300 collectibles. That was some very sketchy math. There's like more on Reddit and stuff like that. I'll link that in the description if I can, or in the pinned comment. But anyways, aside from the math, you want to make sure you do all that stuff every day, and then put in the stuff you want. So, if you're going for Reggie Bush, let's say you're going for Sean Taylor, put in your Miami stuff first, then put in your, any, your random ones you need, because you're going to be required to get Miami ones first if you're going to do the Sean Taylor at all. So make sure you get your specific ones and then make your decision on what you're going to do. Are you going to go for more Sean Taylors or are you going to go for like Carl Banks and then boost your Sean Taylor extra with another master? Whatever you want to do, it's really all up to you. But you just want to make sure you don't miss refreshes. You claim your tickets every single day and that you're getting that pack in the store for 10 or 30,000 coins three times or 200 mountain cash, however you want to, however you want to get it. Um, that's going to be really important because the only way to do these events are again, again, are with tickets. So once you're out of tickets, you know, you're really stuck. So you want to get every single collectible that you can to get the most that you can from this promo. Um, I would assume that three to four masters are possible. And I say three to four master shards, whether that's in the form of a three star master or a three-star master and another one-star, or like three one-star masters. However you want to do it, it's really all up to you. But just make sure you do those things to make sure you get the most out of the promo. So that will be the rest of this, guys. Just make sure you're using your rare collectibles in the trade-up as well, because you will get rare collectibles from the events, and this will give you extra epics to go ahead and put into master sets. But yeah, hopefully I can get five-star Reggie Bush, and I'll do a gameplay with Reggie Bush. Um, at 3-star already, he's an absolute menace on the field. So, hopefully I can get him to 5-star and make a gameplay video on that. That would be really amazing. But hopefully this helped you guys out. If it did, make sure to drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video.